to AAF fuel pump possibility. Hey guys, and today we're gonna be replacing the low pressure fuel sensor, which is, I decided to replace the only sensor which costs 50 bucks. We're not gonna be removing the line. So the first thing we have to remove the battery, the, the actually connector, the minus connector, so negative. And wrap the clamp in the two rubber gloves, remove the air filter, the top part, and we're gonna have to remove the throttle body which sits right right under the airbox twin turbo version N54 you're gonna need to remove charge pipes uh, which is the rudder valves just twisting the snaps here we did remove the throttle body the four screws holding it up and basically we got a sensor top to the bottom of that uh, unit here and a pipe which is connected to the side you have to squeeze the clamps in there and basically pull it now we have to remove that box uh, we're just gonna slide it down and uh, from that step we're gonna be able to work with the sensor so we did manage to remove in that uh, box I broke one clamp in there I removed two connectors right here as well as we can see the sensor is sitting right here so the next step I will try to unscrew it if it's gonna be successful we'll see what's gonna happen if not I have to remove that pipe in there so we'll see so the actual sensor seat on 27 mil socket or I already crank it and it was pretty easy so basically these two sensors one is the original which is was that one it has I mean, kind of decent look forever but the second one uh, from the Bosch uh, it came a little different but obviously it's not a big deal because uh, this is the replica from the OEM that's supposed to be work as good as the OEM one only one thing you have to buy the new gasket for it so be prepared for that so I got gasket set and apparently the 8 mil fits just fine and the 7 mil is pretty tight so I decided to go with this with the 8 mil uh, we'll see how does it work so the assembling part of the video are missing the only thing left it's uh, installed a new piece with the new o-ring and voila make sure for assembling you're gonna use the proper torque specs for the throttle body and the sensor itself and basically that's it if you guys like the video please put the thumbs up button in there subscribe my channel and leave me comment below and I'll see you next one